Hey, it is the, almost the beginning of week six post-op. Um, I'm having some trouble just <laughs> deciding when to do my weekly updates. I'm sure you've seen they're not consistent at all. And part of that is because uh, my surgeon didn't have me start the various levels of like food to eat until the day that I got home from the hospital, which was a Wednesday, and I had my surgery on a Monday. So today is Tuesday, so I'm going to call it. <laughs> um, tomorrow will be the beginning of, of week six, which for me does not change at all as far as um, food. Um, not till week seven am I able to start having raw vegetables and salad and that sort of thing. So right now I'm still um, in the mushy vegetable tuna salad, um, flaky fish stage. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to be creative. Um, today for dinner I had, um, like a quinoa bowl that I did, and I make the, the quinoa, like, a little extra mushy. I just put in a little bit more water and chicken stock than it, than it calls for, and just added some, uh, sweet potatoes, uh, which were canned, because that's all I could get from Amazon Prime, but, um, I've also done it with roasted butternut squash, which is a lot better, I think, than canned vegetables. But I rinsed them off because they came in some sort of syrup, and I just rinsed them off. Um, goat cheese, um, a, a couple um, craisins, and topped it with pumpkin seeds, and it's really, really good. Toasted pumpkin seeds. Um, but anyway, um, as far as stats, um, I am down 29 pounds. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, down 29 from um, my pre-surgery weight. And, uh, sorry, I don't know if that did anything, but it just, like, went to screensaver. Um, but I, I haven't, like, tried to do anything out of the ordinary, like, you know, eat out or um, anything like that. So right now I'm just... Uh, recovering, I guess you could say, although I have no surgery pain, just on my own and working from home. Um, and kind of in, still in that nesting period where I want to organize everything. My pantry looks awesome. I've got like clear bins. I'll have to um, give you a tour of that at some point. Um, but the pantry looks awesome with all like clear bins and everything like separated, like my protein snacks. Which I've just started trying some new protein snacks, and I don't think they're on the list because um, generally my surgeon, they, it's no snacking, but it's kind of annoying because, <laughs> like, when the di I have my meetings with the dietitian, she asks me like, "Well, what do you have for snacks?" And um, I'm just like, "Well, I haven't really snacked much because I didn't think I was allowed." Um, but truly, I try not to snack too much. I've had like I, you know, maybe two crackers. I try to have, like, at a time, um, or, like, at night when I'm really craving something, um, I'll have, like, a teaspoon of peanut butter, because I definitely don't want to get back in that, you know, an old habit, um, and for, for me, snacking is, is probably my worst bad habit, um, you know, pre-surgery, um, other than having Diet Coke, I guess, um, which I am definitely missing. Uh, when I talked to the dietitian, I basically told her about, um, you know, the <laughs> um, scare you straight speech that I got in the hospital from the surgeon's office about, um, you know, if you eat the wrong things, it could disrupt your pouch and the stitches could come open or whatever and they'd have to, you know, you'd have to race to the emergency room and they won't have time to go in through those you know, laparoscopic scars, they're going to have to cut you right down the middle. And I think that's just, like, their way of, like, scaring you straight. And it totally worked for me because I have not t tested my pouch at all. Um, I have not had any issues with throwing up. Um, I, If I start to feel full like I did tonight, um, I hadn't eaten – I don't think I've really eaten a half a cup of food yet, even though I think that's – I'm supposed to work my way up to that. Um, I probably had – maybe a quarter cup, no, maybe a little less than a quarter cup, so say an eighth of a cup, and I just stopped, and so I asked her, um, like, I'm just sort of wondering, because I want to be able to drink more water, am I past that stage where, um, you know, it's not going to, like, rip open if I do something wrong, and she said yes, and so 
I immediately started testing myself more on water. And yesterday I was finally able to get in 64 ounces, actually 66 ounces, because I drink two of these a day, um, the one liter, like 33 and an eighth ounce of smart water. Um, so I was finally able to get plenty of water yesterday. Um, so then my mind immediately went to, well, if nothing bad is going to happen, other than just maybe some discomfort, should I try Diet Coke again? Um, so I, like what I think, I'm, I'm not going to buy it. I can't have it in the house. Um, but, you know, if I happen to be out with a friend, and I actually have a friend coming in town this weekend, or actually tomorrow, Wednesday to Sunday, um, and if we're out and he orders Diet Coke, I'm going to ask him if I can have a sip. Um, but it'll be interesting because I don't know if um, we're going to do a lot of meals at home um, just because he wants to see the sights and all of that. So the next couple days will be interesting because I'll probably be eating out for the first time um, in several weeks, six, six weeks to be exact. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's just kind of a light update. Um, it's just kind of progressing. Um, like I said, I'm down 29 pounds, and um, I was at a stall for like two weeks. I basically didn't lose anything and gained a pound, and then just within four or five days, that one pound plus a couple more came off, and I went from 25 to 29 pounds lost. Um, so it's just like a reminder that while I like to um, put in my weight and my fitness pal every day, um, that it's possible that those stalls, as long as you know you're doing the right things, which, you know, this many weeks out, I mean, it's kind of impossible um, to overeat and that sort of thing, um, that it is going to come off. Your body just has, like, weird ways of, of working itself out. So I was really, really, really excited about that. Um, but anyway, that's it. And um, excuse my lack of makeup. I actually got my eyelashes done which is very forgiving. I highly recommend it um, because you can just leave the house like this and kind of look like you're going for the natural look even if you have nothing else on. <laughs>